with another video um this time we are talking about these amazon tape-ins it's been two months and we are talking maintenance and upkeep if you didn't already from my last video like comment and subscribe 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 y'all know i'm just starting out my channel I um, really got no followers yet, no subscribers, no nothing. And we're starting from the ground up. But I'm going to be giving y'all content, real content, useful content, no gatekeeping. We are giving the girls everything they need to be a baddie on a budget. And I need y'all to, you know, support, subscribe. Y'all be really going up on my TikTok, and I appreciate it. And I thank y'all um, because y'all been helping me get brand deals and collaborations with different companies. So thank you, thank you, thank you. But if you haven't subscribed and you're watching this, please subscribe right now. Like this video, leave a comment, tell me what you want to see. I have so much content recorded, y'all. When I tell y'all so much, so much content, I just got to sit down and edit. I do have a full-time job as well. I just switched jobs. I just started a new job at a new company this week. So, y'all, the girl has been busy. But I am promising to at least post two videos a month. And I know that's not a lot, but y'all, I got to start somewhere before I get on a rhythm and a routine. I would really like to post at least four videos a month. But between recording, editing, working, life, I'm being realistic. So I've already posted one. I'm going to post this before the end of the month. So that will give me my two for January. And then let's hope that we can double it for February. Maybe that's what we'll do. We'll try to double it each month and get more and more content. I have so much content, y'all, I want to share. So I need to get editing. But today we are talking about these tape-ins. Like I said, it's been two months. And I want to give y'all the update. Y'all been asking me for the update. Y'all have also been asking me for a removal video, but I haven't removed them. So that's why I can't give y'all a removal video. But I can't answer y'all questions. I can't update y'all now that I've had the hair in for two months. I've washed it a thousand times. I've swam with it. I've dyed my hair with this in. I've curled it. I've crimped it. I ain't bleached it yet, but I'm actually going to get my hair done today. So I'm going to bring y'all along with that um, with me to blow dry bar and i'm gonna be getting it washed blown out i might get it pressed and curled or just straightened i don't know i've been having curls for the last week so i kind of want my straight hair back but the gorgeous gorgeous girls get their hair done every week even though they don't need it and they're not going anywhere it is cold outside in atlanta y'all it is so brick it was snow on the ground this morning when we woke up i think they said it's going to be in the single digits tonight like nine degrees like this is atlanta i moved here because i don't like the cold and it's cold as I don't know what. So I'm not going anywhere. I'm getting my hair done solely for the fact that I pay for a monthly um, membership to the blow dry bar. So I get two styles a month. If you don't use them, they roll over. So I didn't use them at all in the month of December because I was out of the country. So I had those roll over. And then you also get a free style for your birthday. And because my birthday was last week, I did go get my hair done last week, but it was free. So I still have quite a few banked up on my account and i'm like why not go get your hair done girl you already paid for them that's the point of the membership so i'm going to get my hair done and i'm absolutely not going anywhere i'm going to get my hair done i'm going to starbucks i might stop at tj maxx because it's right next to my hair um salon because i need to get mickey some more pads and i might get him a treat or a toy and some candles but other than that the girl is going to one shopping center and one shopping center alone where home goods is tj maxx the blow dry bar, the Starbucks, everything that I need is in that one shopping center and I will be coming home because it's cold, all right? It's cold outside. Um, but yeah, today we're giving you the update on the hair. Y'all coming with me to get my hair done. Um, and that's it, that's all we doing today, girl. Um, but yeah, stay tuned if you wanna know more about how I've been liking this hair. It's been two months, like I said, so I'm gonna give y'all the full update, the full rundown, and then I'm gonna also take y'all with me to get it done. Y'all keep asking me about maintenance. I'm gonna show y'all maintenance. You can do everything you would do with a sew-in with these tape-ins. So we gonna show y'all today. Let's just talk for a little bit. I have like maybe an hour into my appointment. My appointment's around the corner, literally. So won't take me long, but I do wanna have time to go to Starbucks and Starbucks is right next door. Um, and I need to change, I'm not wearing this, but I have already showered. So this hair, I've had this hair in since around December 10th, I believe, um, 10th, 11th, around that date. And it is January 29th. So going on two months with this hair, I have added in a few pieces. Um, like I told y'all in the other video, I had almost a pack that I didn't use at all when I first installed it. So I had those extra ones and as a few of them fell out, I did replace them, excuse me, with a few extra pieces just because I wanted to keep it full in certain places. But for the most part, I would say out of the tape-ins that I installed initially, 
I think probably about 85% of them are still in my head and still secure. I got my hair done last weekend and my um, stylist was like, yeah, these still look really good. I think you still can get a couple weeks out of them. Like they're still, you know, secure, that nothing, nothing's pulling. So I will say that's a plus. I mean, a lot of tape don't have tape on them that are super sticky. You feel like they're starting, they start to get loose and they start to slip out. And I feel like this tape has been really, really good. Um, I've washed my hair countless times. I have um, went swimming with this hair in. I've blown it out, curled it, dyed it the most. Yeah, I did dye my hair black while, while I had these in. Like I told y'all before, my hair wasn't jet black, so it wasn't blending as to the best of its ability. Um, so when I was overseas, my mom helped me, and we dyed it black, and it honestly blends so much better now, so well. Um, I love how shiny, and even like the girls, I go to Blow Dry Bar. I'm sure you heard of it. It's similar to like um what is another one called there's like cherry blow dry bar there's literally like um there's a bunch of them but it's like a membership type of um hair salon where you pay monthly i pay a hundred dollars like 105 dollars a month and i can get two blowouts which include a wash blow dry and style so they'll straighten it curl it whatever you want updo um they don't cut or color but it is a very good easy like if you have extensions natural type of extensions like clip-ins or tape-ins or micro links and you just want your hair to always look fresh gorgeous gorgeous girls get their hair done every week even though they don't need it and they're not going anywhere you need to get you a membership um but it also works well because and this is not an ad let me tell y'all this is completely me telling y'all my experience and how i feel about it because i'm an actual customer and i pay they don't give me anything for shouting them out in this video i actually just really love the service and the company um but if you don't use them they do roll over um which is good so the whole month i was overseas i didn't need to go get my hair done obviously so i have extra blowouts this month and because they give you a free blowout on your birthday and my birthday was what a week ago happy birthday to me i am 26 now um capricorn gang gang but anyways they give you a free blowout on your birthday so because of that as well um i have like a bunch like stacked up so i'm like mm -hmm, might as well go get my hair done again even though it's snow on the ground and i'm not going anywhere but who cares so i made an appointment yesterday and i'm going to get my hair done and that's another thing you don't have to book your appointments super far in advance there's a couple locations in the atlanta area outside the atlanta area you can always find an appointment pretty much at any salon um but yeah so when i went there last week she's like oh i love how shiny the hair is like where'd you get this hair people have been asking where did i get these tape ins it's crazy they're from amazon but they look so good and i will say um they definitely do shed now i will say that they shed a lot more than the hair i got from the hair store but at the same time they're long um i have a lot of tape ins in and tape ins unlike bundles are not connected to a weft they're like individual pieces connected to adhesive and they're bonded together so they're definitely going to shed more than another extension such as a micro link or whatever like a tape in is going to shed but i will say this hair sheds that's one of the negatives if i had to have any negatives for it this hair definitely sheds but holding a curl a plus dyeing it i haven't tried to bleach it or anything so i can't really say um i'll probably do like a bleach test or something eventually just to see if it can die but I wanted my hair black, so I haven't really tried to dye it. But as far as holding a curl, straightening it, washing it, it bouncing back, conditioning it, um, swimming with it, I don't be wrapping my hair like I need to, and it looks still good. I mean, tangling-wise, it, it does pretty well. Um, I mean, I didn't wrap my hair last night, and you see I, I brushed my hair this morning, and now it's fine. So overall, I still give this hair a, like an 8.5 to 9 out of 10. I mean, for the price, 10. It's worth it, no doubt about it. Um, yeah what else what else oh i am gonna show y'all eventually maybe i'll add it to this video how to retape a tape in so most of the time when you have a tape in that comes out um you will want to scrape the adhesive off of it the original adhesive before you put a new tape on it but these tape ins the adhesive was so thin i really didn't have to scrape the a tape off of it um i just put a new piece of tape a new piece of double-sided tape that came in the box on top of the original tape in and it was fine and i was able to reinstall them so i'll probably add like a short clip of me doing that in this video so y'all can see what i'm saying because people keep asking me can you reuse them absolutely you can reuse them you can retape them you can take them out wash them put them in the closet bring them back out in three months put them back in whatever floats your boat you can definitely do that um what else people ask could i put it in a ponytail i mean i thought i covered that in the last video but in case i didn't and don't come for me because i'm about to get my hair done and my edges are not 
are not the cutest right now. But yes, you can put it in a ponytail. I could put it in a bun. Like, ooh, the kitchen is is kitchening. But yes, very very um, versatile all the way around. Like I showed y'all in the other video, multiple parts. Um, but overall, I mean, I still recommend them. Ten out of ten. I love how easy and just like flat they are. Still, they don't pull. I honestly forget I have them in and I just get so many compliments off of them and you can just do so much with them too I was thinking about doing a little TikTok video of different styles to do with tape ins but you can literally do anything with them you don't I be lazy so I feel like it's always middle part side part um half up half down ponytail but there's so many different styles you can do with tape ins um yeah, so I'm going to take y'all along with me today to go get my hair washed and blown out and styled. And y'all can see a little bit about the blow dry bar that I'm talking about as well. It just gives the girls luxury. You just feel like, a, hey, I'm a member. I'm walking in. I'm getting my hair done, whatever the case may be. And it's so fast, too, y'all. If you have an appointment, like my appointment's at 1130, I will be out of there today no later than 1231. Like, I've never been there any longer than an hour and a half. You, as soon as you walk in, you go sit down in your chair. There's no waiting. There's no overbooking. There's no, oh, go sit underneath the dryer. It's a blow dry bar. So they blow you out, baby. And yeah. So other than that, I think that's it. If there's any other questions, let me look really quick to see if I answer all the questions that were in my comments from my last video. Just make sure that there was nothing that I missed. Yeah, so for the most part, I think I answered the majority of the questions. Um, the main questions were, can they be reused? I already covered on that. You can reuse them. You can wash your hair with them in or take them out and wash them, whatever works easiest for you. Um, they can definitely hold a curl really, really well and a crimp. I crimp my hair with these all the time. Crimps obviously look better on like older hair. So like if my hair was kind of getting weighed down or greasy right before I would wash it, use crimps. I use a crimp iron and crimp it and it will look bomb. Um, I don't know why I thought it would be a good idea to start eating sunflower seeds on camera. I'm not about to do that, y'all. But someone also asked, like, would one pack be enough? Absolutely not. Unless you want thin hair and girl. Yeah, I'm going to just leave it at that. Absolutely not. I told her not to my liking, um, but really not to nobody's liking. Unless you had... Mm, Nah, I would say if you're getting a if you're getting a bob, maybe some shorter lengths, then yeah. If you are getting a shorter length, shoulder length or higher, then yes, you can do one pack. But other than that, no, girl, your hair gonna be looking thin, and it's a no. It's not we don't, nobody wants thin hair. Um, but yeah, so but yeah, so that's really it, y'all. Um, the the tapings are doing well. The girls are loving them. Um, everybody that I know that has bought them and tried them has loved them. Uh, so I still recommend I think for the price you can't beat it for the length and yeah for the look you just honestly truly can't beat it like that's just what it is but we will be back in a little bit once I get in the car and get ready to go and we're gonna we're gonna show y'all upkeep today on the taping all right y'all so I am dressed a little outfit nothing too crazy some boots bag and we are off to go get our hair done Let's go. All right, y'all. So, of course, I'm late, and I really don't have time to go to Starbucks, but I think I'm about to put my order in right now on the app so that I can just run in and grab it. And I mean, I'm from late. I might as well be late with a Starbucks drink. So, pretty much we're late. We're still going. Um, yeah. Sometimes I forget. <laughs> where I park in this garage and I did not park on this floor. There she is, Oreo. My mom says that her name is Yellow, but I think I named her Oreo. I'm pretty sure that's what I named her. I don't know. I told y'all I need to help give me some ideas. Okay, y'all. So, here we are at Oreo. I am on the way. The hair shop is only like six minutes from my house, so I'm late. 
but not that late. It's 11.31. My appointment was at 11.30, so I'm supposed to be there at 11.36. I did order my Starbucks drink on the app, so by the time I get there, it should be ready. It's literally right across the street from it, so I can run in, grab my drink, and run right inside of the salon. It's a beautiful day outside. It's cold. It's cold, but it's so pretty. It's so sunny. Um, so I'm glad I actually scheduled a hair appointment today because had I not, I would never have came outside today. And it's really not that bad. Um, so I can get a few errands done while I'm already out. And yeah, BRB. So I was able to walk right in, y'all. They had my stuff sitting. right on the counter so they have like a little pickup i don't know why my phone stopped recording right when i grabbed it but they had it had my name on it everything was ready so the timing was perfect and now i'm about to just move my car because this is 15 minute parking and go inside the hair shop this is why you use a tripod moving too fast i absolutely have no choice but to get my car washed now because i spilled my whole starbucks drink on my freaking car but luckily, you know, Starbucks has the best customer service and they read my drink. However, it looks like someone threw a drink on my car, like was mad at me and was like, okay, I'm gonna just throw this drink, even though that's not what happened. Hi, y'all. Okay. So my timing was almost immaculate until we had a little spill, but it's fine. We are back on track. We have a new drink. Here she is, and we're ready to go. I'm not gonna lie, y'all, that was so super embarrassing. Um, and I'm sitting here talking to y'all like I got all the time in the world, but I'm only 10 minutes late, so I'll be fine. Um, I cannot believe I just did that, y'all. I was literally over here trying to hold my drink, open the door, record, and I literally set my drink on the top of my car. And when I went to grab it and open the door, it literally just spilled on top of my car. The whole thing just went over. Oh my God, y'all, the blow dry bar is calling me right now. That means that they're like, uh -huh, you're late, are you coming? Your, your appointment's about to be canceled. And I'm really literally outside. So let me just find the per first parking spot I can find. Like, I don't know if y'all can see, but I'm about to pass it. Um, I'll find the first parking spot that I can find and print inside and then I'm gonna go inside recording they really gonna be mad because it's like girl you have the nerve to be late with Starbucks in your hand and recording but it's fine all right all right y'all so the dry bar is right there I have to go up the stairs and then I'll be there hopefully they're not like it's too Many people, you're, you're canceled, because I would cry. Not really, but.
y'all. So, hair is done. I actually did a really good job. Like, I think she took two hours, honestly, but it was worth it. Um, because as y'all saw in the video, she literally blew my hair out like a Dominican. Like, my hair was basically straight before she even started straightening. And that's what I love when I get a hairstylist that understand roots matter, okay? Because this hair is laid. <laughs> <laughs> all right y'all so i'm gonna just go next door to tj maxx while i'm already out here get mickey a few things making off my dog get the house a few things and then we're going back home um actually my phone is on like 10 percent because i recorded that entire process for y'all you're welcome <laughs> so if my phone dies that's why because yeah so we're going to tj maxx now favorite y'all these foaming body scrubs are so good they're 5.99 oh, my favorite so we're gonna get a few mermaid off three um champagne wishes peace and pride citrus peach i don't believe that citrus peach i love the birthday cake though so we're definitely getting that one again and let's see unleash your inner goddess i don't know about that one okay Ooh, well, let's get hot next. Okay, we're gonna get these four. Best hair care stuff. I'm not gonna lie to y'all, the best place to get chi hair care stuff. Honestly, anything's expensive. TJ Maxx. Do y'all know how expensive BioSilk is? Um, that's a leave-in conditioner, but what's this? Like this? $20 for this big bottle is a steal. Do they have the other one? I don't need a leave-in conditioner. This is the finishing spray. I'm gonna get this, because my curls be needing it in this one. And then I think I'm gonna get this. This stuff, y'all, is so expensive, but so, so good. So worth it. Um, I definitely need a few more. Makeup wipes, y'all, yeah, I'm bad with my skin because naturally I have nice skin. So I don't really care what type of makeup wipes I use. They all did the job. Um, how much are these? $3.99? Cool, works for me. All right. here and check the cups i actually have these already and i'm gonna buy another pack because my friends love to break my shot glasses and aren't these so cute oh, i love these another hidden gem i always come to the dog section for pads wipes stuff like that ross and tj maxx are really good um i don't see any dog pads surprisingly Do they not have any? Where? I'm trying to put y'all on and that people are on to me. But I don't see any. I think about this pot. Because I love him. It's a flower pot. And I feel like he goes so well with my aesthetic. He's $40. What do y'all think? Yay or nay? $13. Okay. What do y'all think? Excuse me. I don't know. Okay, I'm looking at these sweaters. I want to try some of my hair. These are super cute. I like that one a lot. That one's cute. Doesn't match my aesthetic, but very cute. But she's pretty. I could put her in my bathroom. I have a bunch of 
bunch of stuff I didn't come for, but I needed. Like this paper towel holder. I've been wanting to get one of these off Amazon. The cute square ice cubes and the circle ice cubes. Found them in here. Some necessities, some socks. Um, and then I got this little cute little lounger set. Very cute. Little sweater. Some long sleeve shirts. A walk. Because I've really been wanting one. And now I'm over here putting it on again to the best vitamins ever. Be happy, be you. This whole line is bomb. I might get these ones, the turmeric and ginger. I have these, I have these. Um, what's this one, for much healthy skin? Yes, y'all looking for a vitamin line? Get those, maybe I need this, the Daily Energy Booster. Mm, I don't know about cola flavor. Um, okay, at this point I'm just spending money that I don't need to spend. So we're gonna leave, but everything you ever wanted is in TJ Maxx. All right, we're out of here. I'm sure I've spent like $150 and I came in here for two things and I didn't even get what I came in here for because I didn't have it. So that's usually how it goes. I need to go because my phone is about to die and I haven't eaten and I'm starving. And there's literally no other reason for me to be in here. But we gotta look at the pants because, uh. Oh, these leggings are so thick and nice. I think I'm gonna get these. They feel like some really good quality leggings. $20 for some leggings, but they are good quality. What do y'all think? These leggings are super thick and super cute. Different color, and then these black ones, they feel really nice and thick. I think I'm gonna get both of these because I just struggle with what to wear in the cold. I didn't come in here for any of this. <laughs> y'all, what in the world? Like, truthfully, I gotta do better. All right, y'all. $250 later. That's how much I just spent at TJ Maxx, y'all. $250. I went in there for three things, and I didn't even get the three, three things that I went in there for. I went in there for candles. I went in there for some dog pads. But yeah, I really spent $250. The only thing that makes me, that helps me justify the spending on TJ Maxx, Home Goods, Ross Marshalls, every time I go in there, I spend $200 and I had no intentions, is you can use Quapay inside of the store. So I really only spent one fourth of $250, which is what? like 70 something dollars today now of course i did spend all of it but i just feel better something about it makes me feel better when i'm able to break it up into four payments and my mom says that's horrible um finances and horrible budgeting because i mean you might as well just pay for it and get it over with but it makes me feel better about myself but yes mom i know you're watching i'm gonna do better next time but yeah so now i'm outside of pet smart because one of the things i meant to go get in tj maxx they didn't have which was dog pads pee pads so i still gotta go spend more money and i still haven't even got my car washed y'all my car looks so bad the starbucks has stained my car y'all know i have a white car so it's like purple and pink on the outside you can see the little chunks of dragon fruit it looks so bad that i have to get my car washed today. like it's no longer even like a option like a, i want to get my car washed today it's like a, i have to get my car washed today but let's get into it let's get into these um tapings because my hair looks so good she did such a good job y'all girl was blowing my hair out like blowing it out getting to the roots getting to every single piece oh, but yeah y'all i'm actually ashamed of myself and i was gonna go out later and get drinks with my friends i probably still am um but now we didn't spend our budget for the weekend. Like, ugh. I always do this. Like, I always do this. I really gotta, like, get better. But the stuff that I got was needed. But it's like, I didn't need all of that today. That's the thing. It's always needed things. But it's like, do you need it today? And I have really bad self-control when it comes down to, like, oh, this is TJ Maxx. Everything's, like, $6. Well, those $6 start to add up. And then next thing you know, $250 later. Every time I come in PetSmart, I want an animal. I can't help it. Look at the little jerseys. Look at the little Okay, I need to stay focused on what I came in here for. But it's so hard. Here we are. I like to get the extra large because I don't have to change them as much. Mickey pees in such a small little spot. This is gonna work. So we're out. Not buying anything extra. Just left PetSmart. 
got the pads nothing else y'all should be proud i really wanted to buy a betta fish um <laughs> for those who know me i've had a lot of betta fish in my lifetime um usually they last pretty long but the last one that i got he didn't do too well his name was stormy he was all black and he didn't do too well um i think it's the type of tank that i had honestly but i decided because of my 250 dollars splurge i didn't deserve a fish today so here we are no fish but we are about to get some food really quickly and then go get my car washed so <laughs> of course we're having girls night tonight and we're celebrating one of my best friends ty Woo! drop some congratulation emojis in the comments for ty ty just bought a house um and she, oh, she's gonna be giving y'all her house tour and all that good stuff on her channel right ty yes yeah, she is um but yeah tonight we're going to be going out celebrating her new accomplishment because that's huge um and yeah we just finished talking in the group chat the girls are outside tonight we're not going to be doing anything crazy but just probably get some food and yeah get some drinks and celebrate it's going to be cold so we all agree we're not dressing up tonight so that was my only stipulation Okay, there's really nothing to eat over here except cookout and McDonald's, and I don't want McDonald's, so I guess cookout it is, um, because I don't want to drive too far. I'm literally right here next to the car wash, so, yeah. Can I go to this drive through Let's see. I feel like I should get food before I go to the car wash, because they be slow, and I gotta eat. I haven't eaten today. about to get this car rinsed off because it looks a mess and there's a long line here of course my car really needs to be clean inside and outside but because i just went shopping and i have all this stuff in the back seat i just don't feel like getting out and it's cold so we're only doing the inside today and the hair looks flawless um, of course, right after you get food, your friends hit you up like, hey, let's go get lunch. But I didn't need to get lunch anyway if I'm going out to dinner tonight with the girls. So got me a little cookout, got me a Cajun chicken sandwich, nuggets and fries. They get they let you get two sides and, and nuggets can be a side. So we did that. And yeah, I think I'm good until later on. Hopefully this car wash doesn't take forever. But as y'all see... This video was originally about tapings. Now it's turned into a whole mini vlog and I might as well just continue vlogging tonight with my friends, but yes, this girl just stuck her hand out at me. Okay, I'm gonna wait. I've never been to this car wash. My friend recommended it, but we'll see. Hey, how you doing? Hi. Oh, you gotta get inside and out or outside? No, just outside. Okay, so all of these are outside only. The platinum is gonna give you a platinum feel, a hot wax, real polish, right next to Pella and Tidy Shine. The number one is hot wax, right next to Pella and Tidy Shine. Number two is right next to Pella and Tidy Shine. The base is gonna be just hot, uh, soap and water for you. Um, I think number two. two. Yeah. Uh -huh. That's my favorite one. <laughs> and that'll be $14. Okay, cool. And that'll be car payment only. All right. And then just turn on your hazards once we're done and you can proceed through the line. You have okay. a good day. Thank you. Thank you. All right, y'all. $14. So last time I came here, I left because when I asked for outside only, they tried to charge me $30. Obviously, they didn't hear me right because I was like $30 for just the outside. That's ridiculous. Um, but today, it was $14. They even had one cheaper than that. That was $10. But my, my tires got to shine, baby. So we're doing the $14 one so we can get the tire shine and all of that good stuff. But yeah, this is my first time here. So we're going to see how good of a job they do. I think I got the, the tire rain repellent wax i don't know i ain't get the top one but i ain't get the bottom one so let's see all right here she goes Starbucks was still on top of my car after the first wash. So round two, hopefully it's off. If not, I'm gonna have to get it detailed and I don't got time for that today. So let's just pray it works this time. All right, 
y'all. So now that I'm home, let's talk about what I got. I showed y'all this extra large ice cube mold, $3.99. Been wanting this and it was more expensive on Amazon. So that was not impulsive. These are from Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse, there he is. He needs a haircut. His breath is horrible. So we're trying any and everything to cure it. Um, y'all saw my foaming body scrubs. I ended up only getting four. Champagne wishes. Birthday cake. Um, off duty mermaid and love is love pineapple mango. We got this walk for all my Asian dishes and then makeup wipes, eye serum for puffiness. We got the circle jumbo ice balls and the vitamin C eye patches. Then the hair products, bio soak, soap therapy serum, um, the soap therapy finishing firm and holding spray, and the main choice edge control. So that's it. That's what I got on my $250 TJ Maxx shopping spree. Now I'm trying on the clothes I got from TJ Maxx, not together, but just trying them on. This sweater I think is super cute, lime green, little crop, and then these are one pair of the leggings that I got. Brown set, super cute. This was a good pickup, and they had another color, and I should've got both. And I think I'm gonna go back and get the other one. Love it. So now I'm getting ready to go out to dinner with my girls. I'm about to get dressed, just finished doing my makeup, or at least most of it. It's looking good, looking cute. Hair still laid from earlier. Um, sunrise, I mean sun setting in the background. Looks pretty beautiful. The city of Atlanta behind us. But yeah, y'all, so I'm about to get ready, get dressed. Not sure exactly where we're going yet, but it takes my friends forever to figure it out. So I'm going to just be prepared, be ready, be dressed, be drinking. Um, I'm going to bring y'all along with me to my girls' night out. Hopefully my phone lasts because my storage has been trying me all day. It's time for me to get a camera. My phone has no more storage at all. Um, but I'm going to bring y'all out. Let y'all meet the girls. Let y'all meet the squad. This is the end of the video. Like, comment, and subscribe. My friends bailed on me, not going out, did my makeup for nothing, about to watch The Bachelor.